Okay, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me once more. So we we'll talk about uh how to actually saving data in our application. First of all, let's start our let's get our app running by saying PHP send sub. Uh, by default, we're using port eight thousand. So I'm gonna increase. I think I'm gonna increase it so we can see our app very well. So when we click on this, we launch our app. I think it's launching. So we have the create tax form that we tested. Like we say, uh, this is a new tax again. And when we click our add tax, it's kind of like shows a message. So oh, we're having error. I think our, our server is not on. So remember to always start your exam server that could be the fact if you want to know how to debug some ajax error you click on your network and you click add tax you see you have all the tax loading right here then you can click on it to see what's happened so it's because our server has started that's why we're able to actually get that one successful and saying new xa new tax again can see same tax send and successful new tax again is added so we talked about uh, adding all these tax we didn't talk about the database and how to see where our tax is being stored so database has a, an artisan console so i'm going to launch an artisan console like a your console you can actually access your database through using a model the model we created the tax model we created so you can see it's called tinker you can see when you, when you type in the PHP Addison Thinker, you click enter, it takes you to a shared environment where you can run. At least you can see something like 5 plus 5 uh, is equals to 10. You can see it's like a shell, but it's a PHP command, like is a design for Laravel. So you can actually see uh, a tax equals to initialize a new app, like the same way you will call your tax on your application. New you tax, you give it tax when you see tax. Uh, sorry, tax to all. You call the all method in the model, it gives you all the tax you've created so far. You can see all the tax you created so far. So now we need to know how to fetch this tax. How can we load this tax in our application so that we can be able to see which tax is created and when it's created? So let's now let's go to our ages right now. So we have a function for create tax. So we're gonna create a function for load tax. So we're gonna call this uh we're gonna make it a get request. So we're gonna give it a URL path saying uh load tax and uh, this will take in uh, the data which will be returning from our URL. For the meantime, let's just console log it. We'll console log the data and we save. Then I think we need a uh, we need a web route to actually catch uh, this URL here. Yeah. So by using a get request, so we just copy. Uh, we, let's, let me just say uh, this load tax. Then we we'll give it a, a route get method. Uh, I think this is what we have. Let's just use a normal normal. Let's type everything so that looks real. So when we paste this guy and we're hitting the same controller, the tax response controller. So we're gonna say uh, this is a load tax. So now we don't have this method created yet. So we're gonna create this method load tax. We'll find tax response controller. We see we have a create tax, but we don't have a load tax. Okay, since we're returning everything on JSON and we're returning everything on we're using Ajax and all that, so we'll be able to load our tax using Ajax. So let's say this is load all tax. So we we'll create a function that takes in the method called load tax, no arguments. So we can just initialize our tag by saying tax equals to tax uh, all. I think this will fetch all tax. This comment on it fetch all tax so we can actually uh return uh tax and i think we're good or uh, let's say let's return the tax and see what we get let's go to our browser let's console log so let's come here let's hit our uh, reload 
you see you can you can see we have our tags all loaded so uh we want to display the tags here we want to make sure that you see the tags you created with the time you created the tags and the status of the tags so actually we can uh, go to our application now returning this tax now for me i normally like to do something something with uh, the time method and now relay has this carbon library that lets you know five minutes ago two minutes ago ten minutes ago so i'll say this is a tax box it takes in an empty array so i will not loop through each tax like let's make this a uh, kind of a product be something so each uh each tax i think uh let's remove this let's say each tax has tax like single tax so let's say uh each tax has tax so we create the data array that will take in all the things we want to return for example we want to return the tax name let's say name because to, uh, no like the key and the value like the value should be the tax we're looping the current tax we're getting and the name of the current tax and we can also get the status and the tax call it the status so we can also get the dates so now we'll be using our, our dates we can use a Laravel uh, carbon library so we can just do something like uh, created uh at stars are normal dates you can see when we come here we see uh updated that we have created that we have updated that so uh, let me zoom in it we have the created that we have the updated hat so we'll be using the created that so we'll format it to a readable time so it's called uh div for humans like a difference in human times so now this array we'll be pushing it to the, our empty box right here so we just uh, push uh, push array as a tax uh, box. Uh, then uh, it will take in the data we initialize. Then now we can instead of returning the tax we have initially, we can just return this whole guy here. So I think we're good, but I like to keep everything straight. So we turn in on JSON return <coughs> response. So <clears throat> we're going to do a return uh sorry response uh this would take a, a json format kind of so we'll say a uh, tax box i think we're good so we'll go to our browser and we we'll hit refresh you can see we have the same result but you can see we have 20 hours ago six minutes ago six minutes ago the one we just created and if you create a new tax let's say now tax click hard tax you see tells you tax screen accessory then when you hit a uh, reload you'll be able to see the last tax creators now tax you see six gonna go so now actually displaying this result now this is what we do in the next uh episode